within the last few minutes. With the number of COVID-19 cases sharply increasing, the El Paso City County Health Authority is outlining the harmful impact the virus is having on the community. The number of El Pasoans who have tested positive for virus uh, for the virus has increased by 36% recently. Our case count, meanwhile, more than doubling just in the last three weeks. But that's not the only area we've seen an increase in. The county's top doctor also pointed out that the number of patients in the ICU up by 40%, hospitalizations up by 17%, and the death rate has increased by 11%. Again, this is all according to the presentation given by Dr. Hector Ocaranza to the El Paso City Council earlier today. And Eric, Dr. Ocaranza also revealed new details on how the virus is spreading with nearly half of all cases attributed to community spread. And retail stores account for the highest rate of exposure to the potentially fatal virus. ABC 7 Seoul Signs was monitoring the doctor's presentation to city leaders and he joins us live in Seoul. How much does the doctor say retail stores are responsible for our positivity rate? Hi Stephanie, according to Dr. Ocaranza, retail stores are responsible for the greatest amount of exposure to the virus. Get this, about a two to one margin over any other sources listed. That includes travel, restaurants, gyms, and large parties. Right now, the health authority attributes the biggest virus spread coming from community spread. Close contact with someone infected accounts for roughly 40% to zero, while traveling is a factor in the smallest number of cases. People in their 20s and 30s account for the highest number of positive cases. Dr. Ocaranza says people who feel any symptoms whatsoever, such as fever or aches and pains, should remain at home as much as possible to stop the spread of the virus. On the type of the exposure, if we see uh, that big orange line or I mean green line that's from the stores, we have put some categories as well so we can see how many people recall uh, uh, being in any of those places. Now that was Dr. Ocaranza's presentation to City Council. Right now there is a city and county order mandating businesses to require customers entering their establishments to wear a mask. Stephanie? Okay, thank you.